Okay, we have a very special guest joining us today. This is Cooper McElvain, and he is a published author. Yeah, I mean, not many people get to say that at any age. No kidding. Cooper gets to do this, and uh, his dad, Gary, is here, too. Gary helped on the book, but I think it was mostly Cooper. And we got to point out, Cooper is eight years old, is that right? Yes. Fantastic. Well, thank you both for joining us. Yeah, um, this book, mm -hmm. Don't Feed the Fish French Fries. You wrote this. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get the idea to do it? Well, there was all these other books out, mm -hmm. and I really thought of that out of the open. What made you think of this? The fish, yeah. Yeah. Because when we went, we had, we, uh, the fish was in the car, and I said, we don't have to go to Walmart, I can give them french fries. <laughs> <laughs> this book is actually based on a true story. This is based off of you and all the, the illustrations in here. That's you, right? Yes. And this is from, I think you were saying kindergarten, when you went to, was it Fall Fest? Fall Festival. Fall Festival. Fall Festival, okay. And you actually won a goldfish. Yeah, that was on my third try. Third on your third try. try with the ping pong ball and the cup? Yeah. Was that the game? And so you did it. You won, and you wanted to feed the goldfish French, french fries. fries. Yes. Right, because you like french fries, right? Mm -hmm. so, so you, you think figured goldfish like french fries. Yeah. Fish would like french fries, but that's not the case. Yeah. You you had to learn that. I guess that's a whole, whole part of like growing up and, and learning. You were only a little kid. You were just in kindergarten. Yeah. And you're a big kid now in second grade. This is really cool. And another cool thing that your dad was telling me about, uh, you're actually donating money from this book right back to your school? Yes. How's that going to work out? So tomorrow is uh, Reading Literacy Day okay. at the school. It's in the evening, 6 to uh, 7.30. Mm -hmm. And of the books sold there and some of the, some of the kids at school pre-ordered them, uh, will donate so much of $5 back from each book back to uh, the library, music, and art. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. Cooper, do you think it's hard, if I wanted to write a book, and, and I didn't have any ideas even what to write a book. Do you think it would be hard for me to, to write a book? What would be, how would you, what kind of advice would you tell me about yeah. writing a book? I would give you advice to think through, erase the mess ups, mm -hmm. um, see if you can get someone to help you on the drawings. Okay. Oh, yeah. And find a published. Okay, so you had an illustrator, and that's the person, an illustrator is the person who draws it, and that's Miss Alicia Barker? Yes. How did you find out about her? She is my church teacher. Oh, oh so okay. she knows how to draw. Yeah. Do she you can draw think very that well. you'd like to draw your own book too someday? Do you th would you like to practice art? Yeah. Okay, so you want to do it all. Maybe you could, could cool. you read us a little bit? I'm going to read us some, yeah. I just picked a random page, but why don't you pick a, a page and read for us? We'd love to hear that. Yeah. And you can pick any page you want. It all started when I saw a goldfish at the school carnival. It's goldfish. Yeah, keep on Keep going. going. But first I went on a hayride with my friend James. It was outside and we were pulled on a four-wheeler. Then it went fast. Wee! Then I remembered about a cup and ball game, where if you throw a ball, it goes in a cup. If you, and you win a goldfish. But I had to wait in line for a long time. I didn't mind because I was able to talk to Ella. She was in front of me. We went to kindergarten together. We talked and giggled while in line. Ella got to go first. I was so excited when she won a goldfish. Ella was excited too. Ella's your friend in school? Yes. Very cool. Now, is she, did, did you think that some of the kids who go to school were surprised that you were able to write your own book? Yeah. So you do, do you think they were like, wow, he did it. That's but impressive. But do you think yeah. that other kids could write their own books? Yeah. They had the courage. The courage. The courage is what it takes. I love that advice. Yeah. Well, do you have any plans to write any more books? Yes. You do? Are you working on one right now? No. But you're going yeah. to. You're going yeah. to. Yeah. Do you have any ideas swirling around in your brain right now? You do. Oh. But you don't want to say them right now? I can say one. Okay. 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 Just one, one idea. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about writing a book about when Maynard moves up to different tanks. Oh. Uh, okay. So like a progression of his life. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like that, like that's a follow-up. That's a good idea, yeah. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, we was going to call it Maynard Moves Up, maybe. <laughs> that's Very a really good, good idea. It's a good, okay. good ambition. Well, thank yeah. you for coming in today and talking about this, yeah, because I think maybe you inspired some people I think who so. 
might want to write a book to go ahead and do that. And uh, if you go to his book signing, that's tomorrow night. It's from 6 to 7.30, right? Yes. And yeah. where is that at? That is at uh, Summit Elementary School. We'll okay. also be April 14th at Empire Books here yeah. in Huntington. Same. Okay. From one to three. Uh, uh, and the books April are there Empire. at Empire. So if you want to yeah. pick one up, you can do that right now, too. Yeah, that's true. And I like his message. He wrote each of us a very nice, kind, positive yep. message. Mine says, be kind. And mine says, be nice. Yeah. And I said, I'm going to try my best <laughs> to be nice. So thank you very much for coming awesome. in today, thank Cooper. You, Cooper. And thanks, Gary. Appreciate thank you guys you. coming yeah. in. Yeah. All right. Well, still.